Well, it originally stemmed from the Butterfly Rami project, and the Butterfly Rami project was initiated with the Commonweal, and my job was to uh, commission 18 artists to produce a unique piece for the book publication as well as the French production. What a strange, disorientating thing to awake from a dwam. Each uh, unique image was based on a Scots word, and the Scots word in, in, in turn was based on a topic in the referendum. So it initiated kind of from the referendum, but thereafter it developed into a much bigger project as I invited more artists along, discovered we had this space. And so with that, uh, it developed into the art of Scotland's political awakening, where artists had their own voice to discuss issues that were important to them, and ones that they were interested in, rather than us prescribing a particular message or theme for them to work with. Well, that's one thing I'm interested in, the dialogue between art and politics, uh, to see how they inform each other, as well as a space like this, which is contextually a very politically charged space because of the context of the show. But the referendum was important because uh, it was a large instigator. It gave people an energy, a passion. It allowed people to realise that they were capable of putting on a project like this myself. I started off initially in National Collective um, before developing uh, my interest in the common wheel. The referendum was a, a large instigator and uh, got a lot of artists involved in politics, which is an excellent thing to happen. We have June Carey over here. Um, she's a member of the uh, Royal Scottish Watercolour Society and she uh, has got a bit, quite a lot of heraldic images, beautiful images that she uh, produced during the referendum but, were, um, but didn't know they were actually political until a little later. If you look at Lorna Miller's stuff over there, the work is very explicitly political. To, uh, just behind you uh, there's a Rami by Samantha McPherson which is a part of the Butterfly Rami project. So we have original images from the Butterfly Rami project and uh, we have worked from amazing artists such as Ken Curry, Alistair Wallace, stuff upstairs by Janie Nicol, Charlotte Duffy, installation pieces, sculpture, paintings, prints. I think because it's got the perfect balance between big name artists, up and coming artists and relatively established artists and the accessibility of this exhibition is really good. We have uh, artworks you can interact with, artworks that anyone can come up to and enjoy. The mixture of artwork and the mixed medium is what is really intriguing about this and also the context itself provides uh, a situation where you can read into the artwork in uh, a really interesting way. And there's some real bargains here as far as affordability is concerned as well. 